you want to do heavy doodles? Heavy doodlers would be good. Which one's which? Uh, remember we set one up to go to the, the gar paper garden girls? Okay, that's fine. I'll try that then. Remember we tried to but it didn't work. Heavy doodlers. Don't do that, please. That's not for you. Come on, get a treat. I'm alive, <gasps> Yay! Hello, everybody. We're going to start tonight for the dog treat. Ranger, come. <laughs> Yoop. There we go. Well done. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. How are you? Craig, could you go and lift that thing that he had that he wasn't allowed in the, in the outside? A plastic bag. <laughs> Hello, Sarah Louise. Hello, Karabu. Hello, Jasmine and Pamela and Ashley. Hello. It's Friday and I am looking forward to sleeping, but not tonight. <laughs> because tonight is all about crafting and I'm so excited. I have been absolutely buzzing this week. Um, <laughs> our release has gone live, it is revealed, and we opened our pre-orders on Wednesday. And I have to say, you guys have gone nuts so for the new release. I'm absolutely blown away and flabbergasted. We are already selling out of some of our items. It's absolutely crazy i have more on order but they'll take a little while to get here so if you haven't already placed your pre-order over on the heffy doodle store and you saw some of the things from our new release that you might want to get hold of and you might want to act fast because already we have some items that are sold out we've got marcy here and ib elf hello hello and stellar crafts by pam is here as well so I can't wait to hear what you guys think about the release, if you have seen it. Um, we have lots and lots of really fun things. Um, in the release we have got some beach themed stuff, we have border dies, we have got interactive dies, which um, everybody is loving, and we've got some really cool sentiments, the bold banners, one of my favourites, and the close at heart sentiments too. I'm going to be using some of them tonight. And we've got two sets of dogs. And I'm going to be using some of them too. Uh, I think I'm going to make some, uh, use some seals as well. So this is the hot diggity dog stamp set. We've also got some cool like scene builder dies. Like this one here is called close the gate. Um, so you can create your own picket fence, which is really fun too. All right. Anyway, enough chitty chitty chatty. Craig, bring up the comments again. You've lost them for me. Please and thank you. There we go. <clears throat> Jasmine says, I love it all. <laughs> Jasmine's already put her pre-order in. We got that all packed up today. We were very, very busy today. Getting all your pre-orders packed. Um, I'm ready. Uh, someone on Facebook says I need the entire release. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing that a lot. I, there was a, some comments um, saying, uh, you know, I, I wanted it all. I'll have to come back again. That kind of thing. So <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I heard that there was a couple of um, comments from people to that effect. So, <clears throat> so definitely seems to be a reoccurring theme. I'm just so glad that you guys are liking it. So what am I going to make tonight? Tonight I'm going to start with a card using the wavy water slides die. So it's going to be an interactive card. Facebook user says on my way to work. I'm going to guess that's Nancy. 
Ah. <laughs> Craig just showed me Facebook and it's Nancy. Um, and uh, Rebecca's here. Hey, Bex. And IBL says, I'm going to check things out. Oh, yes. Uh, Becky says, I'm excited for my pre-order to arrive. I think I should have ordered more. Well, you got to go fast because there's things that are gone already. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? No. I can't believe it. Okay. So we've got Sealy Friends. We have dies that go with it too. And these have uh, internal cut lines, which are lots of fun. And we have got the wavy water slides dies for some interactive fun times and then this is called the close at heart sentiments and i just want to show you close up because you're gonna love it when does the pre-order stop the pre-order start stops on the 3rd of july um but like i said some are, some are sold out so if there's things that you are wanting then snap it up snap it up while you can Right, so I'm also going to be using the weave border dies if I can find them in my box of tricks here. Hold on. Let me see what I can find. Can you leave the door open, honey? Because it's very warm in here. Thank you. Here we go. So this is called Breaking Waves Border Dies. So I'm gonna start by making a card with those. <laughs> Hi Jen, hello, hello. All right, I've got my clutter keeper here to keep my clutter out of the way. Piper stole the other one, I'll need to go and retrieve it. I get the I get the feeling I'm gonna need uh, gonna need two tonight to keep everything all nice and neat. <laughs> Marcy says love those sentiments. I love them too. I can't wait. Okay, let's grab some rectangle dies and we'll get going on the card. So, this is my stitch, rec imperial stitch rectangles. Which I'll start with the, the base of my card. This will give me an idea of what kind of size we're looking at. Uh, I think I might go for the third size. Oh dear. To make a panel on my card and then I'm, visu I'm visualizing this by the way that we have some waves on our card as well now these wavy water slides are coordinated to um, to work with the breaking wave border dies so you'll see that the shape of these will match if you know what I mean so that one goes with that one this one goes with this larger one and you can kind of move it along to whichever way you want to want it to go and then this one's a bit more generic it's got a very slight curve to it so it can go with like this one or you can put it even on this one as well that works really well so let's put these to the side. IBL says, does your website do the conversion? So it kind of does. Um, on, if you're on the desktop, so if you're on a computer, at the top, the, test, the desktop view, will, uh, you can choose, you press a little person, the profile, you can choose your currency and your country. So then you'll see what it is in and like what that would be an equivalent in dollars but it doesn't it doesn't do it on a mobile version sadly i wish it did but it doesn't all right so we're gonna have maybe a background like so and let's see maybe another one actually i think i might go for the the wavy ones 
maybe some wavy wavies. And then we'll put this one down here. And so, okay, so this is kind of what I'm going for at the moment. So let's see how that works out. <laughs> now, a few weeks ago, I made some backgrounds. I wonder if I could use them tonight. I did some ink blending backgrounds. Oh, I think I did them the wrong orientation for what I want, but maybe we can make it work. Or we turn this, we turn this show around. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So this was Distress Oxides on Bristol Cardboard. So if you're interested in how I achieved that, you can go back afterwards and check that out. And I have some of my weavy water slides here as well. So let me grab some card. See what we've got that can work for tonight's playtime. All right, so I've just pulled out three colors of um, heavy cardstock. Hi, Denise. <laughs> Jasmine says, I use the rectangles all the time. Best thing I bought. I'm very excited to have the wave dies too. Yay! Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to cut out some panels here to go on my card. Might not use that guy in the end. Let's give this a go. I want to create some water at the bottom here. So I'm really curious. I want to know what is everybody's favorite thing from the release? If you've placed a pre-order, what did you buy? What are you excited about? Jasmine says she also ordered a few more inks too. From Crafty Purple Frog, yay! It's gonna be awesome. Hi, Tommy! Hello, hello! Jasmine says doggies. She ordered some doggies and is excited about doggies. I'm hoping to use some doggies tonight, actually, Jasmine, so that's good. <laughs> Marcy M says, Leslie, do you design the stamps yourself? I do. I do indeed. I do doodle them all myself. <laughs> all right, let's do another one with this using my heavy memo tape to hold that in place. <laughs> Please use Ranger. So what Jasmine's referring to is, let me show you guys. This stamp set is called Who Let the Dogs Out? And um, if you've seen the live stream before, you may know that um, Ranger, our cockapoo he's a big floof ball and this dog was definitely inspired by ranger <laughs> definitely definitely okay so see already i'm needing more discipline in using my clutter keeper let's see so we have got i might actually cut this one down a bit more and use the more greeny one at the back. 
What do you guys think? Green at the back, green at the front? I think the orange corresponds with the green a little bit better, so I'm going to use that one. Put the terrier on too and we can pretend it's Belle, says Jasmine. <laughs> Belle is anything but a terrier. Just have to do a staffy the next time. <laughs> Tally says he is the most fun to color. Ah. Oh, I'm catching, catching, catching up. Lucy's here. Hello. Rebecca, Becky says I picked up both doggy stamps. It's because you got two doggies. <laughs> Becky says, plus the shellfish and the new shadow box die. I love the big size of it. Yeah, that's so much fun. Gonna be so good. Okay, let's put this down. So I feel like I may have to um, do a little bit of ink splattering with my white ink on this to get more of a nighttime look to this guy. Looks pretty cool at the moment though. All right, so I think we could put a slider on here. Now, so there's two ways you could do this. You could either put the slider mechanism on the front here, and then he's on front of the wave, or we could put it on the teal one here which means it slides behind the wave so I'm thinking I might try that let me just figure that out again so we want it to be kind of like here let's give that a go Jasmine says, please do a stocky stand. <laughs> Denise says, you should design a Yorkie dog stamp set. Yes, that'd be cute. Although I think in the um, Who Let the Dogs Out set, you could maybe color him to be a Yorkie. I think you could probably get away with that. <laughs> All right. So now we have one here with my channel cut out and we have this one on top as well we'll need to raise these up so that we have room to move um could do another wave on top but i don't know whether we want to do that I might actually leave that blank in case I want to do a sentiment. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit off camera there. So let's get rid of some of these extras. <laughs> Maria says, great new release. Can't wait for my unicorns and rainbows. Oh, yes, I was thinking of you when we were designing the rainbows, Maria. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Bless me, bless me, bless me. So it's been a fairly exhausting week, <laughs> but we've had lots of fun. So it's okay. All right, I'm going to now stamp some sealies for silly friends of mine. <laughs> bless you. Thank you so much for all the blessings. Oops. So here's my seals and I wanted to have wanted to have one poking out his head from behind and in this stamp set we actually added see this little oval it's like a little oval so you could use that for many different things but I'm going to use it as his paws or his flippers 
kind of doing a little peekaboo over the top. So he's going to go there like this in the background, I think. And then we need somebody to swim along. And I think it's going to be this guy. And he's going to swim along in the background like this. Beep, 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 beep. So we'll look. I think that would look good. And I was thinking, oh, I know what we could do. We could add clouds to the background using the head in the cloud stencil. Let's see. That would be cool. So let's keep that out as well. Let me catch up. Um, uh, Snow says, I need a pom-pom for the little one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Maria says, I got my stamps and dies from the new lawn fawn release in the mail today. Awesome. And Candy says, hello, hello. How are you doing? All right, so that's gonna go there. And I'm not sure what sentiment we're gonna add yet. So let's just put some of these things away for you now. We'll keep on top of our mess, at least for five or ten minutes anyway. So let's do a seal and this guy and i'll need to do two of his hands or flippers are they flippers i don't know what they are <laughs> candy says just returned from the garage sale at scrap mania good deals oh awesome did you spend all your money candy I love that these seals are really chubby. That's what I really love about the um, unicorn as well, actually. The fact that they are really fat and chubby. <laughs> Maria bought the ants and unicorns and pineapple and summer borders. Plus the fairy tale and dragon. Oh, this is the, the new lawn fun things. Awesome. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of stamp sets, uh, stamp companies coming out with their uh, releases at the moment, which is cool. Good to see everybody getting back on track. All right. So this is the head in the cloud stencil and um, you can use this. Let me see if I've got my cards somewhere. I think I may have sent one away. Oh, here's it. So you can use this with like embossing paste like I have done here. Um, this is almost like a foam texture. It's really, it's raised and it's really cool. Um, but you can use it with ink as well. So something like this would work. Now because this is <clears throat> distress ink, I wonder if you could just like rub it. I'm going to test it down at the bottom here where I have, I'm going to be covering it up. Eh, it kind of bleeds a little bit like that. But you could um, use embossing paste. You can use ink, like white ink, which I think is what I'm going to try tonight. Now the white ink that I have is old and white ink has a tendency to dry up quick so we shall see if it's going to play ball or not oh actually i bought some i bought some picket fence distress ink have any of you guys used picket fence i bought some and then never used it let's give it a go
Maria says she ordered the stencil. Awesome. <clears throat> if you like using like glitz paste and embossing paste or even sprays and mists, it's going to be really cool. But I really lo love it in this card as well because it just shows that you can use it. Like you don't necessarily have to have white clouds all the time. could also use white embossing, sorry, clear embossing ink and then use your white embossing powder on the top. There's a really cool embossing powder called, uh, what was it called? Sea foam, sea foam white. And it was by Ranger and it actually like puffs up for want of a better word. Another way you could use it <clears throat> is by taking your gel pen and run the gel pen around, just like trace it, like trace around the edge with your gel pen. That would be cool. Or like I do with my um, Copic white ink and I splatter it to kind of look like stars. You could do that um, and get real concentrated splatters in the in the areas where the clouds are, which would be really cool too. Okay, so let's set that to the side. Let that dry. Clouds look so pretty, says Amy. Hi, Amy. Maria says, love your hairdo tonight. I did the, yesterday, I came out of the shower and I had to walk the dog, so I just twisted it up. <clears throat> and then this morning, um, both the little elastic bubbles had popped, so I knew that I had lots of pre orders to pack, so I literally just tried my best to salvage it and uh, put a new bubbles in the bottom. So it could, re it could really do with a bit more uh, love and attention, but it's tad to do. <laughs> Karobi say, I love seeing non-traditional colored clouds. Oh yeah, cool. IBL says, I wasn't quick enough for the seagulls. I was just about to wrap up my brushes. Oh, there was, I think, two left when I um, left here. So somebody else must have grab them which is really annoying I'm sorry the gulls are very cute the shellfish and the gulls the shellfish have gone they're all gone and the slim like trio as well we have more coming, so I'll have more stamps on the, about the 11th, I think, and more dye on the 20th. We have to wait a bit longer for those ones, sadly. Okay, this guy actually will be hidden, so I don't have to worry too much about him. So that's a W5. Where's my W3? And there you are. Oops. Blend that out a bit. He's so cute. All right, so we're going to do two little flipperoonies here. A 
And I think they need some rosy cheeks, of course. Amanda's here. Hey, Amanda. Amanda, we definitely sent 20. I'm hoping you know, know what I'm talking about. So that's... <laughs> Candy says, do you have a possible ETA on the elf dice? Um, I don't think that was ordered as yet. I'm not sure. Not sure on that one. Okay, let's see. IBF says, I'm so bummed. Let me just figure out where you were talking about what, which one. So yeah, stamps, I, th I think it was stamps you were talking about, IBL. Stamps will be here about the 11th. Yes, about the 11th. They're shipping on the 9th. And it'll take a week, just take a day or two to get to here. So watch this space. I, I'm still completely flabbergasted that everybody has gone so nuts for things. It's pretty cool. <laughs> There's some chit chat on the uh, talk about marker storage if you haven't already seen it you might want to head I'm, I'm guessing over to pear blossom press after the stream and have a look at the marker storage over there i think you're gonna like what you see amanda says leslie the new release is fabulous yay thank you so much that little silly friend in there <laughs> there he is and oh, let's cut out his little paws as well uh, Mona made a card with um she made a card with loads of crabs and they're on a beach and the be on the beach there were these like like she had made these like sea into like seaweed on the beach and then she had used this little oval egg shaped <laughs> stamped image to create like leaves or flowers for the seaweed or little buds I guess I don't know what the correct term is for seaweed foliage <laughs> I love it when you get a little bit of versatility on the go. All right, so that has come out really well. You can definitely see it, but it is subtle. So I'm happy about that. And this guy's gonna go in here. Now here's a trick for you if I haven't lost the piece already. Obviously, this is going to cover the gap there, but if you wanted to um, have the open channel on the front, what you do, here it is, is take the piece that you cut out and glue it in here. So glue that onto the far back piece. And then that means whenever you look from the front, sure, you can still tell there's a channel there, but it, um, it helps hide the fact that there's a well big that looks far worse i think than having this in there it makes it less noticeable so that's a good little trick so here we've got a seal i'm gonna pop in here 
what he's gonna have. His little paws coming down over the waves like this. And this guy is going to be floating along like so. Beep, 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 beep. We're gonna move him along. So we could have, what do you think? We could put like a beach down here and um, maybe add the little baby on the beach. Or we could have a sentiment down here. What do you guys think? What should we go for? What's your thoughts? Oh, I need to catch up. Amanda says, I need a, a new die cutting machine. My old one is puttering out and it only cut some one side. Oh no, that's awful. Will you announce when the gulls are back? Yes, we will do a, um, we will do a newsletter when the gulls are back in stock. So if you wish to, if you haven't already and you wish to know, um, head on over to the Heffy Doodle, Heffy, Heffy Doodle, subscribe to our newsletter is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I'm trying to do too many things at once. Subscribe to our newsletter. And you will be notified when the gulls have flown back. And the shellfish have returned home. Too busy chatting to myself. <laughs> here we go. Let me just trim this off here. What do you guys think? Should we add a, a bit of beach down here? then if we're gonna do that then we want to um have a little baby seal down there i think the baby is so cute though isn't it i think it's adorable let's start sticking this guy down so that we know He's in the right place. I'm gonna secure him in there like so. And then, oh, I need to get my other glue on the go. I'll use my Brutus Monroe glue. So this little guy is gonna go in here like so. So 
so far so good. Grover says, yes, baby seal on the beach. Good, okay, we'll do that. There it is. I was like, I have a piece of alcohol marker friendly card stuck here somewhere. So we will have baby seal and I'll do another couple of little images to go along with Mr. Baby Seal. And I'm also gonna pull out the Otter Side stamp set because there's other sea themed things going on over here. So, and Oceans of Love. So we'll do some stones and this little shell. And let's see, there's a bigger starfish here. And a couple of other little shells here as well. Come on, there we go. Now I think my sand is probably a bit yellow, a bit too bright at the moment. So put this back in my clutter keeper. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of color to this. I'm gonna start with scattered straw distress oxide. I don't know how much of a difference it will make because it's quite, it's quite pale. I'm thinking I might tone down the yellow. Mm, no, it's not going to be dark enough. I'll have to try again. Okay, maybe some more, maybe some tea dye would do the trick. Or old paper perhaps. Or antique linen also might do the trick actually. We'll give it a go. I feel like the vintage photo is going to be too much, but maybe we could take some of it off. There we go. Makes a little bit of a difference. All right. Put that back. No said, oh, I'm catching up, hold on. Amanda says, I remember you guys had such a cool booth talking to Becky from Make It by Marco. Um, <laughs> anytime I lost my husband, I knew I'd find him at your booth. Yeah, I, I would agree. <laughs> Very cool booth.
let's get the, this little guy colored up. I'll continue with the W. The warm grays. There we go. All right. And we shall make some of these little shells come to life as well. For the rocks, I think I'll do some cool greys, so they have a different tone. And then we'll see what we can do for Mr. Starfish. for a blue tone for this one. Just add a little bit of color. And maybe more of an orangey one for that. Oh no, maybe maybe like a purpley periwinkle tone for this. What's this? That'll do. <laughs> I need to catch up. Snow is saying, did you order the speckled egg inks? No, I didn't. I need to do it. I need to find somewhere that stocks them. Amy, have you got them in stock yet? I was waiting for her to get them in stock. I think that a lot of, I mean, certainly I'm finding it tough at the moment that a lot of distributors are not um, having like why well, try to place an order with some distributors and they're not having a, a, a full catalog of things I always find it very difficult plus I think with the distressings everybody wants them so they sell out really quickly Amy says I so badly want to get to creativation it looks amazing yeah you can come next year Providing everything's calmed down on the old pandemic front. All right. It's so fun that um, these sets can all coordinate together so nicely. Amanda says, it's always fun, Amy. I got the email saying they're still planning to have it in Phoenix again in January. I think they're still going to plan to have it because without having it, I think financially it's a massive thing. So they would probably air on this not air on the side of caution but air on the opposite side <laughs> well that's just my thoughts
because at the moment um, it's about this time of the year that I would probably be starting to think about booking tickets and things but I'm not really thinking that um, I don't think I did that one um, the thought of traveling right now is just not really appealing to me to say the least. Here's my little, my little guy. Now this guy you kind of have to turn the die and make sure you get it the right way. Here we go. That's him. Amanda said, I got my speckled egg. Yay! Oh, I missed. Where did that go? I looked up. Oh, there he is. Little cheeky thing. You little cheeky sausage. Amanda got her speckled egg. Boo, I want one. <laughs> Sherry says that she's excited about watching a video by Jen. Whoop, whoop. Yep, you're not in there. Are you in here? Yes, you are in here. So we have lots of supporting images here for my baby seal. Snow says, I think I'm one of the few that still prefers the inks over the oxides. Me, I'm in your camp, Snow. Ma'am, they're okay. I've got all the inks, but I don't have all the oxides. They are not, um, they're not my babies like the inks are. <laughs> the inks are my babies. I love them so much. All right, so this is gonna get stuck on here and I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead and stick that sh straight down. So I could have used the Stitch Slopey Joes to create a sandy bank. Oh, I forgot to do my thing. Um, but I kind of wanted to show you that you could use the Breaking Wave Border Dies for other things. And in fact, we have this. Oh, I maybe should have done that. This is a stamp that has um, like a sandy section, like a line with some dots on it. And the die is really cool because the die you can line up perfectly with the stamp because it goes around the little dots. But it'll only cut a slice on the top, which means that you can tuck your little elements into it. I should have done that, but I forgot. Never mind. So, where is that? Here it is. This one. Sherry says, or Sherry or Sherry, I'm not sure. Says, Leslie, I just found your vegetable set. Gotta have it. Do you have a video using this set? I'm not sure if I have a video on my hungry heffy channel, but if you go to the heffy doodlers, heffy doodle YouTube. I'm pretty sure one of the team will have made something with that set. And I know for certain on the blog, there's some absolutely gorgeous projects with that. Um, and yeah, you're gonna love that for sure. Oh no, I just, there we go. So this goes here, 
And this goes here. I'll attach my little seal in the background shortly. He's going to go here. And we've got some accompanying images to go with this. I think they might be enough like that actually. Let's stick them down. And I'm going to be raising up this panel so there's enough room for my slider mechanism to move around. So I'm my project is already going to be a bit thicker. So I'm just going to put these straight down. Amy says, the veggie is super cute. <laughs> Marcy says, the face is. <laughs> it's funny because we had a... We had a set called um, Party Palooza where we had things that you could put faces on them and they didn't sell as well, but I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be versatile. So I was like, oh, let's do the faces separate. And then, was it Party Palooza? I can't remember. And then I was like, mm, I think, I think actually we should just, Put the faces on the stamps and so we did that with the veggies and then everybody seemed to love it <laughs> which was good all right so So this panel is going to be raised up like so, and then this guy is going to be in here. And he's going to move along like this. Now, I feel like we're probably going to have to put, um, if I put him here, you're not really going to be able to see him. So we're going to need to raise him up a little bit. And to do that, I'm just going to actually use a piece of acetate. So let me grab a piece of acetate use a card I suppose but with the acetate you can kind of raise them up a bit and um, if you have any acetate poking out you probably you won't really see it Always check if your acetate has a protective film on it, like this one does. There you go. So I'm going to stick it up like this. Let me just round it off like so. And I'll stick that down with a bit of with a glue dot or something. Amy says, with the lockdown, people are growing their own veg, so it works really well. Yes, I never even thought about that. Candy says, it's been forever since I could just watch you craft. Oh, so nice as I have a headache from wearing my mask. Yes, it must be a real pain in the neck, like literally, and a pain in the head wearing the mask. Marcy says, I'll have to check out, uh, no, Sherry says, Marcy, I'll have to check out Happy Snappy Crocs. I must have uh, missed something about Happy Snappy Crocs yet. Happy Snappy Crocs is um, one of the first stamp sets that I designed. 
and they are still one of the most popular, which is crazy. So we want him to be roughly about here and we want to go back and forth. So let's see, maybe like this. So we're going to add a little pop dot to this. can use a little button or something or sometimes you can get a little plastic. little plastic thing that you can slide. So this will slide along like this. Do, 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 do. Now, this does not need to be this long as long as it comes down over the gap. That's fine. And then on the back, you can put a penny you can put a button. Let me see if I've got a button. Something with a little bit of weight to it is always good. Let me see. It's really not gonna matter because you won't see it, but I'll try to get one that's not too He's going to turn around if I'm not careful. So what we might do is put two pop dots on him, which will stop him from turning around. pop dots on this. Like so. So now he's going to move back and forth like this. You could probably put a third one on to be honest if I wanted to. There's enough room to move around there. And um, the other thing is if I left this longer I could put uh, another like button on here, which helps weigh it down. That's an option too. So let's stick this on. We want to make sure we have a little bit of room here for it to move. So I'm going to use some foam tape. Uh, someone on Facebook says, the box your daughter Piper came up with arrived today. Yay! She did such a great job with those. Very, very proud of her. Uh, someone on Facebook says, is this stream on YouTube? So just to um, clarify for anyone who is a bit confuzzled, um, I am multi-streaming tonight, which means that I have got the stream running on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Twitch, and I think maybe in a Facebook group as well. I need to catch up in these comments here. Shuri says, don't know about anyone else, but this lockdown for me has been watching videos and buying craft supplies, and card making has taken a slowdown. Hopes it easy. <laughs> Candy says, I can't complain because I'm mostly at home. I don't have to wear one hardly ever. Oops. I do feel for those who have to wear the, the mask more often. Oh, 
he just wants to rock. Okay, I'm going to squeeze another pop dot in there. Might have been better with one that was slightly bigger. Jasmine says it'll be three years on the 3rd of July since Leslie started her Kickstarter. Ah, yes, Jasmine sent me a Facebook memory today. It's crazy. Maria says, how did Piper react to her success? She was really, really... really surprised and blown away by everybody's support she she loved it although like she didn't quite understand the fact that um like we were like okay we can make some more but we have to make some more so it's like we had to we had to do the hard work to to, to make more and um because people wanted them so she was super excited but then she like was like can you just make <laughs> oh, crazy do, 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 do. I think my foam is a little bit too tight maybe or maybe I needed a, an actual penny that was a bit weightier you can still move so it's okay he's going to go in there like that let's see I wonder if I have a penny anywhere that would help this little guy scooch along. Doo -doo -doo. What did I do with all those pennies that I had last week or the week before? I had a little stash of them, didn't I? Ooh, I think I'm a penny. work better I love how the color of the sand was perfect with the sky yay all right let's attempt That's a bit better, a bit more wit behind it. Nice. Have our cute little seals. Amy says I've been working from home. Working too, but from home, so that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. Most people have been working from home, or at least trying to do some sort of semblance of working from home. Certainly the people that I know anyway. Amy says, the seals are adorable. Amy passes on that addiction too. She kindly told me she was getting the mermaid stamps and both sets fell into my basket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just the way it goes. I'm looking forward to relaxing this weekend and we got all the pre-orders uh, packed today so far anyway so that means I will get to relax this weekend Woo awesome look at this little guy he is just living life to the fullest yay let's grab a card Use your powder tool on the sliding slide. Oh, I never thought about that. You're so clever, Maria. I think we can get that in there. It's 
slidey slide. It's a testament of good cardstock from Heffy Doodle. <laughs> there you can. Yeah, he's still moving a little bit, but that's okay. Still interactive. I am loving him. Let's pop him on a card. And maybe we could add a sentiment to the top. Jasmine says, all I can think of is mermaid cards now. I think we're gonna need some mermaids for our Heffy collection at some point. Awesome. I'm gonna take these and put them into my, even my seals. We definitely need a sentiment. So let me see what's in this. But let's seal a Brit. You've got my seal of approval. And I also really want to use the. Where's my bold banners? I'm in love with the bold banners. I love them a lot. What have we got here? Like a baby, he's about to get it. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> what about miss you? Can't wait to seal you again. I like it. Maybe we could do it. I should have done that one first, though. I think I could probably make it. So we do miss you, can't wait to seal you again. Let's put that in a misty, stamp it on there, see what we can do. Boom. Amanda says, definitely need some heffy little mermaids. <laughs> you might need double the foam to make room for movement. Not my foam, my foam's three mil. Specially designed for moving cards. Uh, speaking of which, Amanda, I didn't have any of that thing that you asked for in stock, sadly. But I decided that I would catch up with you, <laughs> catch up with you and speak to you about it after I got all the all my orders done. Been a little bit manic. All right. Pop that down here like this. Hoping this is gonna work because it's a bit chunky at the bottom. And then we're going to use our bold banners for the miss you. And I think I'm going to go for the, like a yellow tone to match the sand I think that would make it really pop so let's try that now for the bowl banners I wanted to mention that um, 
this is a solid image. So different inks will give you different results with these solid images. And I think other people will have probably, like different people will have different preferences, but I can tell you what I like. I like either using a pigment ink or something like Catherine Puller's inks. So let me pull out Catherine Puller ink. What's this shea butter? Let's try the shea butter and see what that turns out like. And I'm using a misty because I think this will work better if we have two or three layers on here. Now, the other thing is that these inks, a lot of these inks will actually look splotchy whenever you start. You might panic a bit, but don't panic. It'll dry flatter. Let me see if I can get a, find a, Pigment ink. I was a pigment ink. Where would I live? Oh, actually, let's try the at atelier inks. I've not um, tried those ones. I think they would work. These are the ink on three atelier inks. I think that would work too. In fact, that's probably a perfect first impression. Not need to go anymore. However. It does look splotchy, so let me show you what I mean. Can you see it looks really splotchy? But we'll give that five minutes. And let's do another one down here. See if I can find a pigment, a pigment ink. I don't think this yellow is going to be dark enough. Yeah, it's very light. You're not going to be able to read the writing quite as clearly, I don't think. We do a peachy tone on top. See if that can darken a little bit. There we go. You clean it up. Sorry guys. <laughs> Amanda says, no worries, I'm sure you've been busy. Oh yo. <laughs> Hi Roberta, how are you? Maria says that she's heading off to bed. Good night. It's been a long day, need some sleep so you can play and craft tomorrow. Oh good. A lot of agreement with me in regards to the Catherine Pooler inks. I agree too. I'm a big fan. Let me give you the uh, look at these now. The Atelier is still looking a little bit splotchy, but the Catherine Puller and the Pigment is looking great. So which do you think we should use? I quite like the uh, Shea Butter one. A bit more of a dark, darker color. 
Amy says she still needs to get some Catherine Puller inks. I have some in stock, but they have gone fast. Mm -hmm. I need to get a top up. I think we're out of one of the colors. Good night, Maria. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm happy that you are here too. Oh, I'm hot though. Hot stuff. I'm going to raise, so this back panel is not raised up compared to the front. So I'm going to stick this guy onto a bit of foam tape to raise it up. I think so. Ta-da! I think we will call that one done. So we have a little guy who can move along in his channel in the middle. He can swim. Almost looks like he's going to do a loop-to-loop -loop at the end there. We have our first card! Yay! All right, let's see what else we can use tonight. I was maybe going to show you guys the build a cabin guy. I'm not sure if you've seen it or not. it is and I think this is going to be a real fun one for um, for both for beach cards but also for dogs so I think I'm going to use this with my doggies I'm going to take a moment to tidy up snow's off to get some rest night night snow Did I tell you guys that we've been um, going through all the Marvel movies? So tomorrow we've got another Marvel movie to watch. So I'm really excited. Get to watch a Marvel movie. And this time I don't have to have the release at the back of my mind. Yay! Woohoo! Um, all right, guys, thank you for the loving for my card, the seal card. Pop him out of the way. And we are going to use a, I think I'm gonna use the green field stencil to start off with. <coughs> Pardon me. Which is, this guy and we're also going to use the build a cabin die so let's get the card to get us started and I feel like I'm going to go top folding today or default because why not All right, so for this one, I wanted to show you green fields because this is a super versatile stencil. Um, what you can do is you can ink up along here to get a grassy, if I hold it, hold some card beneath it, you might be able to see a bit better. You can ink up underneath here to get a grassy flat border. You can put your card in here to get a curved grassy edge that you can ink up. Same goes in here. Um, and if you move it to this side, you get more curve going up. And if you move it to this side, you get more of a curve going down. 
Stellar Craft says, do your banner uh, sentiments have matching dies yes they do they have matching dies like this and you can actually use them on their own you don't have to use them with the uh, sentiments you could just use them with whatever um, other sentiments that you have in your stash as well so you can flip it up this way and then once again you have another curve with the grass and um, slightly larger kind of grass you, if you like this curve but you want it the other way you could do one like this and then you could flip the stencil and have one like that but the other thing you could do is use the flat slopes now we have some slopes in the first snow stencil and they're great for doing things like snowy mounds and things or even a more accentuated curves but for more humpity bumpies and then more sort of gradual curves this is really great so you could use that for snow you could use it for sand and uh, you get a lot of mileage out of one sta one stencil and actually um I have, I have two and i just cut them apart and i just felt that that was easier for me to work with but you can do as you please so for this card i'm going to have some grass here i'm thinking i might also add um a panel of grass with my grassy bo hillside borders um down here but to start off with let's get inking so i'm gonna use mode long which is my favorite for things like this <laughs> oh somebody says which movie are you on um we're on avenger no iron man 3 mm -hmm. iron man 3 can you believe it so cool okay so i'm gonna start with a trying to visualize how much space I need something like this I think we'll go about here and I will have a bit of a flatter final kind of area there and then I want to bring down a bit like where I um, would sometimes create oops, a like a cloudy sky where we, you would build it up. In fact, maybe we'll do the same with the cloudy sky stencil, which, by the way, is back in stock. Yay! Once I've done one below, I like to go back and can I mask that off again? Just to bring down, bridge the gap a little bit. There we go. Marcy says, that's a very cool stencil. <laughs> Amanda says, Kelly and I had Captain America Marathon in my office yesterday while I was working. That's not working, Amanda. <laughs> cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. 
All right, so I'm thinking I might end up going for the, um, like adding a panel with a um, like die cut panel down here, but I'll add this for now. can always add the die cut panel on top. So that's the green fields stencil. And while I'm at it, why don't I come in with my cloudy skies? If I can find it. And add some clouds at the top. And these stencils are going to be great for creating one layered cards. Hunting through my stencil stash here, please bear with me. I feel like if it wasn't at the front, Piper may have removed it from somewhere. Or I've got it in my stash over here. Change of plan, not able to do that. Piper must have used it somewhere. But that's okay, that's okay. We shall move on. That's my green fields. My mode lawn, sorry, out of the way. Marcy says so fast and easy. It absolutely is. All right, so um, the other thing that I Oh yeah, we want, let's build ourselves a cabin. So we call this build a cabin because it's kind of a dog house, it's kind of a beach hut. Um, so we call it build a cabin so that it could be whatever you wanted it to be, which I thought would be fun. So let's grab some card. And die cut this little guy. So you get lots of different pieces and I'm gonna show you what they all are and what they do and how they go together. But this is the first piece. Oops. Slip and slide, baby. Good job I've got my memo tape. Amanda says, it doesn't bother me to have the noise of the TV on. So here I have my um, base piece and I don't know if you can see there, there is some faint embossed lines just to give the idea and a bit of texture. Kind of looks like wood panelling there. I will say that the wood panelling appears more if I use um, my Big Shot or my Gemini and it appears less if I use my handheld machine so obviously there's like a slight uh, difference in the calibration or whatever it is that so that might make a difference if you are wanting to get it more pronounced for example you might want to check out different different machines if you have them and then you get this sort of oval or arc shape and that will create that will die cut a frame and a door no. so it creates two pieces like this so the frame can go here like so and if I'm creating a dog house, then I like to create a, I use like another, I use a die again, 
with some black or some dark gray because I'm guessing that is like a hole. If you wanted to, you could just snip away the area and actually have it so this area is blank in the inside. It's open, should I say? Because the, the base image here does actually have an open door. So you, it does have a flap that you can create an open door. So when I'm creating this for a dog house, I actually don't want it to have an open door. I want it to just look like it's flat. So let's stick these pieces on here. So we'll put that one on. And then we'll add our little frame. Around the outside. Like so. And then you're going to want a roof. So for our roof, what should we go for? Should we go for red? Red or blue? We get a pink. Let's see what I can find. Oh, here's a little. This is not heavy cardstock, but it is scratch piece of cardstock that was on my desk. That'll have to do. Red said Marcy. Okay, cool. So this will go on top like this. And this looks really good if you layer up this top piece. You can layer it up a couple of times, get a bit of dimension on there if you wanted to. But pretty much that's your dog house built. Um, but if you want, there are other little elements that come in the set. So if you want to make it into a beach hut, you have an anchor that you can add. There's these two circle dies, which um, you can use to create like a life preserver. Um, it's a little bit fiddly, I will say, but it looks really good once you complete it. So you have a, a the life preserver circle ring. And this is also really good for doing reinforcers on holes, by the way. And then the little bits to add on to that. You can add a circle like doorknob. And then if you're having it closed, you can add a doorstep down there, which I think I'll do for my um, my little doggy one. You can have a love heart, especially really cute if you put it on the thing here. Or you can have a bone shape as well. I think that's really adorable too. So I think I will actually do an inlaid bone up here. In a blue color. Let's see if I can find a little scrap of blue. There we go. And I'm also going to die cut this doorstep add-on piece in blue as well. This is such a fun set, Leslie Susanna. Thank you. When I'm designing everything, I always try and think about how I can make it more versatile. You guys know from watching my Come Craft With Me that 
I like versatility, flexibility. I like to be able to stretch my stash. I'm very much of the opinion of, I want you to be able to use this again and again, maybe for different things. All right. So my dog house is gonna go here. And I should have overhung my roof just a little bit, but that's okay, we can pop that in there. This is gonna go in here like this. See, already adorable. I'm just gonna stick that to the back with a piece of card actually, just to hold it down in place. There's my dog house. <laughs> Look at the grassy meadow sitting there. I know. <laughs> the buns are fine with the heat. They're mad at me though because they've been limiting their time outdoors to mornings only. Oh dear. So worried about the deadly rabbit virus. Oh, is it um, maximentosis or something? Like that? Is that still there? Hi, Connie. Jasmine said she ran out of money <laughs> to get this, but. I got my must-haves, but I will hopefully get hefty to birthday money to buy more. You had a small vet bill. Oh no, I hope uh, Belle is okay. All right. I'm feeling like I really want to find that uh, cloudy skies border. So let me just check one more place over here. these guys we got restocked the stencil and already <gasps> I found it I found it yes says Amanda it can transfer via mosquito bites oh man that sucks the vaccine isn't available in the US I may have to have Leslie ship some over awesome I totally do that how do you do it <laughs> I don't know how you do it but I'll do it I'll just go, um, I promise I have a rabbit. Can I have a vaccine? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am going to see if I can get a finger dauber because I think that would work well. Finger dauber and maybe blue. And the cloudy sky stencil. And we shall see how the magic happens. I'm just going to cut this one apart as well for versatility. why I didn't cut these apart earlier. <laughs> oh, yes. 
Belle's had a bit of a tumble while playing with the poodle, landed on her leg and got quite limpy. Oh, baby. Have a little thing. All right. So we've got our dog house. We have our cloudy sky. Um, I think I'm going to stamp or die cut a sun to go up there. Maybe use the sun, moon and star set. Yes, I think I'll add a sun up there. See if I can get that same yellow colour would be nice. If I can find it. I don't think that's quite the same, but we'll make do. Nessa's here. Hey Nessa, what have you done with your hair? It looks great. Oh, thank you so much. It's really easy actually. It's super easy to do. It's less complicated than um, doing braids. <laughs> I'll have to tell you. Connie says, your card scene is a place I want to be. Ah. There's a thing. Actually, tonight when we were out walking Ranger, we met a lady with um, an Alaskan Malamute. And she was lovely. Her name was Pepper. And uh, we walked all the way around with her. We had lots of fun. Let's add my sunshine. Sunshine on a rainy day. So I'm not going to stick that down just yet. Let's see how. In case I have a, a sentiment dilemma. Which is always the way. Always the way. Um, and I wanted to use a doggo. So we have two dog sets this release. We have got Who Let the Dogs Out and Hot Diggity Dog. We've got Who Let the Dogs Out and Hot Diggity Dog. So I was thinking of using this guy for it. Somebody said um, we should do a stamp of like a Yorkshire Terrier. So maybe we could try and attempt to do this guy as, as a Yorkshire Terrier. What do you guys think? We could try something like that. Or maybe this style of guy, he's kind of cute too. What do you think? Yorkshire Terrier or Sitting Dog? Dun, dun, dun. Place your bets. <laughs> oh, let me catch up. You need a dog bone and a good dish on there. We do have a dish. We've got a dish with a dog bone. We could definitely do that. Should we do that? Let's see if we can add a bit more to this. Yorkie. Okay, Yorkie, Yorkie. Yorkshire Terrier. And we'll do that. So he can eat his dinner. Yorkie, Yorkie. I might need to ask Google to help me with my coloring for Yorkshire Terrier. But I think we could do it. It's a unanimous decision about the Yorkshire Terrier here. So that's good. Oops. Let's see. Gonna go for red bowl. <laughs> With a Let 
Maybe we'll try like a yellowy rim to it. And our bone's gonna have to be kinda a very light brown. And then for food, I think we'll go dark brown. Lovely jubbly. Cut this out. Yorky, yorky, yorky. So the dog bowl is from the Hot Diggity Dog stamp set, by the way. And I, when I was designing the stamp sets, I wanted them to work well together, but also to have a slightly different style. So all the accessories and things work beautifully together. And the dogs do too, but for who let the dogs out, I wanted to create some which were a bit more breed specific because I think a lot of us have soft spots if it's the breed of our own little fur baby. Don't you? So let's see if we can get the Yorkie on the go. IBL says, I love the dimension already with the grass. I know, and the funny thing is, it's actually completely flat. It's just an illusion. Fun, huh? Sherry says, speaking of Yorkshire, in movie last night, the question was, why is Yorkshire pudding called pudding, Leslie? <laughs> oh, um, I'm not sure I actually know the answer to that, although, Yorkshire pudding is, oh, actually, wasn't it originally a pudding? Oh, I got a piece of, I got a piece of felt stuck in his beard. These dogs always get things stuck in their beard. Um, so I went to this restaurant once that sold for dessert Yorkshire puddings, and it had a massive Yorkshire pudding like this big and it came with syrup and ice cream. And you could um, eat it with syrup and ice cream. Has anyone else in the UK tried that? But Yorkshire pudding is just made with the same batter as pancakes. So, and pancakes is a pudding. So it's definitely, it's like a, it's a thing. <laughs> I don't know specifically the story beside it, but there you go. Right, let's get my... <laughs> I have it, said Amy, but I guess it's pancake mix. Yeah, it's just pancake mix. So there you go. Let's get a Yorkshire pudding up here. I, not a Yorkshire pudding. That's not got a Yorkshire pudding. A Yorkshire... Yorkshire pudding? Yorkshire. There we go. Oh, I'm so tired already. Okay, so it's not going to be this guy. It's going to be more like this little dude, I think. Maybe. Doesn't quite look like him, but I think we could try and make it work. So it's definitely got darker ears. And he's definitely got darker bit around his snout and then under his leggies and his tail looks black to me I don't think he would be a 
black up on his well this guy's black up on his face I guess they all kind of are gonna be different aren't they it's like Ranger everybody assumes that he's a everyone assumes that he's a um, Springer there you go <laughs> Yalzel says, traditionally eaten with beef on Sunday lunch. Yeah, mm, I love a Yorkshire pudding. Jasmine says, no, I haven't, but my colleague Lee swears by Yorkshire pudding with sweet things for pudding. Yeah, I've had one before. The one that I had was in a, like a harvester or something. So. give him some kind of lines to look like fur a bit more maybe a bit of a bit of brown on his butt there and a bit of brown underneath here over my grey with a lightish lightish brown just so we kind of see some tones coming in I think I need to darken up his beard a little bit at the front What do you guys think? <laughs> Nessa said, put in my order today. Nessa asks, when will we get our pre-order? Do we know yet? So we have packed up everything that has come through um, as of like five o'clock today. Um, and we will plan to ship all the USA ones uh, on Monday. And if we get through them all, we'll also do the Europe ones because they'll take a little bit longer to go. If you're in the UK, it probably won't be shipped until Tuesday or Wednesday. But there we go. It'll be with you really soon. And then you'll be able to play. My granny, my granny Minnie had a Yorkshire Terrier called Ben and he was a demon. Yeah, he was awful. I did not, I mean, I, like I wanted to love him, but he was not having any of it. Not having any of it. There we go. I'm just going to blend out a little bit more up at the top here. And I think he looks good. What do you think? I think you would definitely see the colouring and go, you actually tell you. <laughs> Amazing colouring on the Yorkie, says Karabi. Thank you. And then middle to end of next week, yes. If you're UK, middle to end of next week is probably a good guess. Of course it depends on the good old postal system. Sherry says, very real doggy. So cute. Super cute. Nessa says, 
West Wales. Oh yeah, you'll get yours. Oh, I love him. I love him a lot. So let's see. I'm gonna add this on here. We have our little doggo here. He's looking at something. He needs something to look at. What's he gonna look at? He's looking up at something. What is he going to see? What do you guys think? Or we could add the wolf. We can add the wolf wolf. Let's stamp it and see what it looks like. And I think I'll go for a blue. A bird, a seagull, says Jasmine. Yes, yeah, some sort of a bird. We can maybe do one of the wingman birds, but they might be too big. Let's see. The flying bird, the flying seagull is kind of um, looking the wrong way for this guy. What, a, what about a balloon with the, um, the present, bone present? That would be cute, right? I think this is probably too dark. Oh, that moved. Okay, let's try because it's the wrong color anyway. Wrong color anyway. Try again, Batman. challenge with those solid images is that they kind of kiss the paper and then take it with them. Something borrow that's a bit more in line with what I'm looking for. There we go. These little guys are so cute. I'm in love with the dogs. Absolutely in love with them. A butterfly, oh, okay, a seagull, a bird, a butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Oh, I don't like butterflies. <laughs> uh, a hose coming from in from the side after him. The hose is, um, the hose is maybe the wrong orientation. I'm not sure. Oh, you might be able to make it work. We could make it come in like this. That could probably work. Stamp them, cut them out, make a decision. I'm a visual person, I need to see it. I need to see it on there. The hose is like my favorite. <laughs> hose and a bird carrying the hose that would be so funny <laughs> Amanda's running off to the post office before I miss the cutoff time she says oh I know what that's like <laughs> all right so let's cut out my wolf wolf my little woofty woof. See what that's like. So the cool thing about this is that the perfect day has a stump that says meow uh, in the same style. So they'll go perfectly together. You go woof. Our little doggo. 
So I'm curious for all our international friends. Over here, garden hoses are always, they, at least to me, they always seem to be green. What about where you live? Are all your garden hoses green? Is my question. Although I feel like maybe you can get a hose over here that's yellow. Or maybe it's just that like um, petrol pump stations and things that the hose is yellow. UK friends, what's your thoughts? Am I, am I being silly? I feel like they're all... All green. <laughs> uh, Candy says she has a metal one. A metal one? That's weird. Green says Denise. Oh, like a slinky, like a shower hose, I guess. The cheap ones are green, says Becky. Orange is, is ours, says Nessa. Becky has a grey one. Pamela says usually green. Many are green, but sometimes pottery red, like a terracotta or brown here in Oklahoma, USA. And Jasmine says, I was looking at hoses today. I found black and yellow ones, not green. Well, there you go. Green, yellow, and a canvasy grey and blue. Well, there you go. That means that... I can now colour them any colour I want because I've decided that if there are yellow ones and grey ones and terracotta ones and orange ones, metal ones, then I think that a hose can be whatever colour its heart desires. We all know that they have hearts. <laughs> Candy says, mine was red growing up, I believe. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. Who would have thunk it? It's always interesting to have a cultural comp comparison every now and again. And come craft with me. It's amazing what you learn. Um, I love that the die looks like a snake, or the thing looks like a snake. Okay, I think I'm going to have to start sticking these down. Let me go get some of my doodahs. Of my foam, not my foam, my glue dots. Glue dotty dot dots. Alright. So let's stick these on. So there's my dog house. And I think we've got a little doggo here. We're going to have a hose coming in from the side. Squirting some water. I'll just add a little bit. Night jazz.
I think that works pretty well, actually. I think I'll have it overhang the edge slightly. Maybe like this. Stick that down. And I think I'm going to actually raise him up on some foam pads and I'll raise up the dish as well, his little bowl. And I'll raise up the woof because let's face it, it's definitely gonna whiff at this rogue hose. Woof, he's so cute. I'm loving this Yorkshire Terrier coloring, they look great. Jasmine says, Mum's visiting tomorrow. Oh, say hello to Mum for me. All right. I'll put him down there. And we'll stick this on here. And is that stuck? Yes, it is. And we'll just trim off this edge. Nice. And we've got sunshine here, but I want to put a sentiment on top. So let's see what sentiment we could go for. We could have one of the ones in the set of a make a splash, which goes with, the, with our little uh, hose thing, of course. Or I kind of like the close at heart. These sentiments were inspired by all the isolation that we went through. And I wanted to create some sentiments that were um, kind of ones that you could use all the time. So I like them. Let's see, we could have How's it going, friend? You're my kind of people, my part. Let's see if we could maybe do a little bit of a combo on here. We could do with love coming into this off the side and then do something like How's it going, friend? Or just checking in. Or sending you sunshine and hugs would be cute too because there is a sunshine there. Or thinking of you today. That's cute too. All right, let's do that. Let's do it. So this is probably going to go somewhere like here. And we're going to have... How's it going, friend? We're going to go, how's it going, friend? I've made my decision. I'm going to also have one of the bull banner sentiments up here as well. And I'm not sure. I might just, I might just do hello, actually. What do you guys think? I love the how's it just checking in. Should we do just checking in? Let's see how long it is. Just checking in. Yeah, we'll do just checking in. Maybe 
maybe we could do hello just checking in. And I might actually do that in red or blue. Red or blue is not sure yet. I need to find my rock and red color. In my calf and poolers. Oh, it's going to be one of those days where it's the last one that I check. I can tell. Rock and red. There we go. Rock and red will probably um, stay in my stump, but I'm not bothered. So I changed my mind. Went for blue. And then I'll do red on the solid one. And I think I'll pop it up. So I'll put this on here. Pop these back. Becky says, I love this sentiment set, perfect for everything going on. Yes. He can maybe angle up towards the water, says Pamela. How are you coping in the heat, <laughs> asks, asks Nessa. Well, we've been like running around trying to get everything ready for the release. So, um, it's been hard <laughs> in sweating buckets. We're not big sun worshippers or anything like that. It's not really our jam. Poor Craig has not really been able to sleep very well. He's Scottish. He's not built for this kind of weather. Poor baby. So yeah, the red one will stain your stump a little bit. I'm gonna spritz it with some of my stamp cleaning solution and give it a little scrubby wubby. I'll say this is much easier if you take the stamp and scrub it on the thing, but there we go. Still stains it a little bit, but doesn't harm the stamp, so it doesn't matter. It don't matter. There's my um, bold banner sentiment. I love these so much. Um, what's your temp there? So it was 29 degrees Celsius. Which, do you know what? You guys are probably going to laugh at us. Alexa, what's 29 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 29 degrees Celsius is 84.2 degrees Fahrenheit. 80, 80, 85 degrees which I know many of you will have hit 100 and stuff before, but please bear in mind, one, I'm not built for that, and two, our houses are not built for that, so we don't have air con. <laughs> Sorry, go. Amy says she, oh no, look what I did, I got distracted. Rude, just have to do it again. Um, Amy says she's not slept for the last two nights, either has Craig. 
sadly. He practically passed out on the uh, sofa this evening because it was all catching up with him. Poor thing. Poor little spud. I can pretty much sleep through anything, so I'm okay. <laughs> Ashley says, I could not live with that aircon. <laughs> there you go. One or two degrees Fahrenheit in Las Vegas, says Pamela. <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. 111 Scottsdale, just outside Arizona. You guys are quite close together then. Wow. In the grand scheme of things. Sarah Louise says, lucky to be in Bridlington on the East Coast. We get a night nice sea breeze, but it's been 20, 22 during the day. Oh, it's been far warmer here. 29, I think it was today. At the moment, it's 27.5 in my craft room. Hence why I'm tapping myself. Because it's toasty. Rusty toasty. All right, let's concentrate this time, shall I? You guys distracted me. Honey says that's very warm for you with no air with no AC. We're at 101, but the AC is doing its thing. That's it. Although there was um, I believe big problems because the a lot of the the restrictions for isolating etc have been lifted. But um, within like reason and the common sense should prevail but yesterday I think it was like thousands of people flocked to the beaches and there was like a, a state of national emergency declared because uh, there was so many people all in one place which obviously with the pandemic situation is not good Lots of silly people. All right. Karabu says, I was born and raised where I live now, so I'm not built for heat either. With 88 with high humidity today. It's been really hot and humid. Let's resist it. Sun up as well. And then I think we're going to call that a day. Oh, do you know what I didn't use? Is the little lighthouse, which is the stamp that you get for free if you place a pre-order. Maybe we can make a card with that next week. Ta-da! All right. So we've got two cards. We've got Mr. Seal bobbing around on the ocean. I think actually he's kind of bent, so he's kind of sticking because he's bending. Maybe I should layer them up on another piece of card just to make him a little bit thicker. He still moves around. And then we have, hello, just checking in with the, um, who let the dogs out? Yorkshire Terrier. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. 
What do you guys think? Which is your favorite? <laughs> Tommy says that card is adorable. Amy says love them both. Sherry mentions it. Super cuties today. Thumbs up, folks. And Connie. Yay! Thank you so much. So the Greenfield stencil really is going to give you a lot of mileage. Perfect if you're a fan of the cloudy sky stencil or even the stormy sea stencil as well. Hidden the clouds, I think also great for embossing paste, etc. But um, also for adding texture like this. I think this is a really fun way to do it. Um, I actually would like to, to do this and then add some holographic embossing powder on top. I think that'd be really cool. What do you think? <laughs> Sarah Louise says, I'm loving them both, but the doggy is my fave. Yay. Susan's favorite is the seal card. Yells, yells, the dog house. There you go. I think it's pretty split at the moment. I hope you've had lots of fun. Um, I certainly have. I've been dying to play with this because the hardest part <laughs> of the release is when all my samples arrive and then I can't really show anyone. <laughs> but it's all worth it because we had a big reveal and everybody had lots of fun and you all went mad. So if you buy a, um, or if you place a pre-order at the store between now and Wednesday, you will get a free, where is it? Little lighthouse stamp set like this. And if your order is more than 45 pounds, you'll actually get the dies free as well. And the dies come with this really cool um, way that you can cut out these holes for light up cards and things like that. Maybe we'll do one of them next week. All right, guys, I'm going to head off to bed because I have worked way hard this week. And um, it is super hot. So, <laughs> mm. How did you do the hair? I'll probably show you. Um, for your hair, all you pretty much do is take a piece of hair and then twist it. So it'll come out all curly, I'm sure. But, oh, look at my curly, curly, curly hair. Ooh. But you take a piece of hair like this, then you pull it back, and then you take another piece of hair like that, and you just pull it up over the top and this one's at the bottom and then you take another piece of hair and you join it with the bottom so you've only got two strands and you twist it and then you, you've only got two strands the whole way down behind your ear like so twist twist and then by the time you get behind your ear and near the back of your head um, and you're your two strands are pretty thick and the the leftover the leftover bits on the back of your head you can then have your two strands and the leftover bit does that make sense two strands oh it's all coming out and the leftover bit here and then you just braid these together And they actually, um, if you do it with your hair is wet and then you sleep on it, your hair comes out pretty curly the next day. So there you are, go. And I like to use the little elastic doodads, but they've pretty much only got one use. So this one's probably going to break. Nessa says, we'll try it tomorrow. Yeah, that was much neater than that one. <laughs> Rebecca says she has chibi tronics to use. Awesome. <laughs> Sarah Louise says, good night all. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Yay. IBL says, get some much needed rest. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I think you've all had lots of fun. Oh, oh, Pamela says, I'm glad I shared my birthday with you all. Happy birthday, Pamela. So lovely to have you here. Thank you so much. Right guys, I'm off skis. 
thank you for everyone who's already placed their pre-order. You guys are awesome and makes all the hard work worth it. I love you all. You're amazing. And now I'm going to go to sleep. Bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.